Hey everyone, welcome to another episode on Finding Griffey. It's catch up time still. This is the January edition of the Platinum Plus Pin, pin Box at thepinbox.com or sportscardseverymonth.com. Josh over there can hook you up with this product. Just um, see the description below and there should be some links that can guide you to him and to his pages. So Go check him out and let him know that Finding Griffey sent you, and we're going to get into this. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We try to do videos occasionally. I uh, used to. It was a couple times a week. Then kind of we took a little bit of a break, but now we're going to just kind of be spotty with what we do. We bring you cards and coffee. Susanna is out of town, so we will not have a traditional cards and coffee this weekend, but... Uh, we will get back at it. Got a few things we want to catch up on and hope everyone is doing well. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out. So let's get into this. This is the January edition shipped at the end of December 2023 for January 2024. And we're going to see we've had some success with some autos in the previous uh, pin boxes. See what the January edition has in store. Um, Maybe a Roman draft would be great. I think it was out there uh, before this web product came out. So we'll just have to see what this has in store for us. And yeah, I appreciate you all being here. Hope everyone is doing well, staying warm. Um, can we have the variety pack? This is the guaranteed hit and three rookie cards. So we'll save that for the end. And then we have uh, Tops Update, Chrome. Oh uh, no, that's regular update. We have another uh, regular update. We have Heritage Hobby Pack. Two Heritage Hobby Packs. One feels a little bit thicker than the other. We have an Allen & Ginter. We have a Tom Topps Chrome Update. We have a Platinum Anniversary Edition Chrome. We have Topps Finest. And we have the Elite Extra Edition from Panini. This, will, this is kind of a new, new one for me. Um, we'll start with that. As, I've said in the past, I do kind of like the tops as kind of the flagship product. Uh, you know, you get some hits out of the Panini products as well. So let's see what we have here. This is the Extra Edition Elite. So these are going to be probably a lot of prospects. Uh, looks like Drew Jones is in here, Jackson Holiday. There are the folks on the packs. Um, so let's. This is. Um, I thought that said one of one, but. Uh, it's 111. Brenner Cox, we have from Washington. We have we have a relic, Future Threads from Landon Marcio. We have an auto of a Guy Lipscomb Jr. And then we have Sonny Daciara, played for Auburn. And then last but not least, we have the Anderson Furman. Decade numbered out of nine ninety nine for the Dominican Prospect League. So we'll see what this guy has in store. That's kind of a die cut as well. So that's a I did not notice that, but you see the die cut kind of the those are really hard to keep. Um, oh, this other one was a numbered as well. I did not notice that out of three forty nine. See some of the the printer did not catch the ink in that one thirty one. But I didn't catch it. So we have two number cards there, an auto and a relic. So you're pretty much guaranteed some hits there. We'll go with the Topps Finest. This is 2023 Topps Finest. A lot of folks like this product. I don't, uh, I don't, haven't bought it much. We have a Wilson Contreras on the back. We have P. Alonzo. We have Leogor Figuero, rookie. We have headliners and Mookie Betts. Looks like an insert. We have a Gunner Henderson rookie. Get that one. And then a Wilson Contreras there. We'll get the Gunner sleeved up. Uh, let's go with Allen and Ginter. Uh, I did send off, I think I said in previous videos, send off some things um, to PSA. I'll do a reveal. Uh, the Allen Ginter made me think. I did send off. Uh, a mini of Trevor Lawrence. I'm just, I think, you know, see how he does in the playoffs, but um, 
we'll see how he does kind of in the next year or so. And I think, uh, you yeah, then we'll kind of know what the values of his cards are going to be. He was hyped, but uh, hasn't performed as I think a lot of people have ex would have expected, but he's also the, you know, the team is, um, it's been a building program. So, so we have, yeah, Marino, the, again, I've complained about this before. I, I like having last name, so just uh, we have Lennon Sosa. We have the Tatis. We have uh, Hank Aaron. You know, these are all familiar names that, uh, of course, I'm going to know. It's like a um, Wade Boggs back in his Rays days. Not really a fan of that just because I know him as a Boston Red Sox player. And then Fun of the Sun, Parasailing, just your typical Allen and Ginter insert type stuff. So let's go to Heritage, um, 2023 Heritage. I haven't, uh, haven't hit anything big out of the Heritage yet. Last month's edition, we had the Retail Hanger Pack. So we have something back there, it looks like. So let's see, it looks uh, like it's black. So that's a good thing. That may be a good sign. So we have a rookie of Peyton Battenfield. We have a Ma Masataka Yoshida, which is a good uh, rookie. Zach Granke. And then we have Estuary Ruiz. Estuary Ruiz. I'm going to hold this. We have a purple rookie of Cole Reagan's. Set that one aside since it's uh it's not numbered. I guess that's uh just the regular kind of retail purple product or not retail. I guess uh, not retail because it's a hobby back. Uh, Luis Castillo, and Joey Ortiz rookie, and Taylor Wall. So we'll get to this gray card. I'm not sure what it is. It may not be anything. We have the Ruiz, and then. It's like we have a Carrera, shortstop Carlos Carrera. So it's not really, uh, I don't think it's a numbered card. It is numbered. Out of 274, numbered card and heritage, Carlos Carrera out of 274. So decent hit there. We have uh, a couple inserts. Um, and then just to get these, keep these organized. Let's stick with Heritage, see if uh, maybe go two for two. Maybe if it's uh, out of the same hobby box, maybe have an auto stuck in here. Hobie Harris, we now have another purple, so it's maybe, been, I don't know if they consider them hot boxes. Uh, we have Tristan Beck, rookie. Gus Varland, rookie. And this is Anthony Volpe, Volpe. So we have O'Neill Cruz with Pittsburgh. So we have the Volpe Purple uh, Rookie. That's a good hit there. Actually, not numbered as we learned, but uh, Anthony Volpe, Volpe, not really sure, but uh, I know he's a Yankee and he's a position player and he's a someone that a lot of folks are holding on to uh, with the potential that he has. So we have J.D. Martinez, Taylor Mutter, and Dylan Dodd, rookie, and Blake Perkins, Brewers rookie. Moving on, we'll just stay with the flagship stuff. We'll save the Chromes for later. This is Topps 2023 update hobby pack. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, what cards you like? Which hits uh, you like? Or some of the rookies that were pulling out of here that I'm setting aside. I'm going to get them, uh, uh, you know, I hold on to the rookies uh, generally and we'll just uh, put them in team bags. Some I will sleeve the ones that the, the names are already kind of the sought after rookies. I will top load those, but uh, I will, um, yeah, hold on to the rookies just to, and then kind of go back through them every uh, so often. So we have first rookie Jose Caballero. We have a Zach Weiss rookie pitcher, Brett Phillips, Brad Hand, Joey Ortiz. We have an upside down Matthew Batten, maybe a rainbow, not numbered, rainbow rookie, rainbow foil, foil rookie, Matthew Batten with the Padres, 
insert, we have Randy a Rosarina. St. Louis, Heart of Gold, and we have, I guess, the Detroit pitcher, say Cody Laparisky, and Cody Sedlock, and Ryan Feltner to finish us off. So, again, this is no auto. The hobby boxes have a guaranteed auto, so if this came from the same, hopefully, same box, increases our odds. There's a chance it didn't come from the same box. I'm not sure how... Um, these are packaged. They're all packaged together out of the same box with others that are subscribers to this product or not. But um, let's take our chances here. We see what we have. There's a little something back there that I see. Bly Madras. Don't know much about him either, but again, rookie I set aside. Garrett Hill. Randy Vasquez. Shiro, have an upside down gunner. This is good. Another tops black gold. That's uh, the second one I've hit of the black gold back-to-back uh, -back months. Black gold, uh, I think it was Brett Beatty before. We have black gold gunner Henderson this month. So that's nice, nice uh, insert hit. And then Tatis and Machado. That's cool with their um, Latin uniforms on. All right, well, I like I like Topps Chrome better than I like Platinum Plus Anniversary, but I do like the Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Edition product. Uh, it takes me back to Mexico. I opened a box of these uh, in Mexico with Susanna uh, a couple years back, so this is kind of takes me back to those that fun uh, fun trip we had. Cody Bellinger, Aaron Fletcher. And Yoan Makata. So nothing going out of that. And the last pack of this rip, we have Topps Chrome Update Series. We have a rookie debut of Oscar Gonzalez. We have Donovan Solano. Ryan Yarborough. And Robbie Grossman. So nothing doing out of that. I think last month's box was a little better. We'll get into the Brody Pack. Again, this is where we get a guaranteed hit uh, along with some rookie cards. And we'll see what we find out of here. So we have a Jesus Lazardo rookie. We have a Daniel Montesino Bowman first. We have a Jonathan India. That's a prospect card, not his first. And then our hit is going to be a relic Steven Strasberg, original materials. So that's cool, cool hit with the Nats. Um, Strasburg is he was a dominant pitcher. If he could have stayed healthy, I think he could have been even better. But uh, hope uh, everyone enjoyed this rip. Uh, I guess my favorite cards out of the rip. Um, we had some of the elite extra products uh, where we had some numbered cards and some autographs but uh, these are probably my favorite uh, the Gunnar Henderson black gold Anthony Volpe uh, purple out of uh, it's not numbered uh, out of the heritage and then we had the Gunnar Henderson tops finest so those are my favorite let me know what you think let me know your favorites and I, again appreciate you being here thanks for checking us out and we will see you next time